There we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Regular Gamer. Alex, welcome to Village Sins. This is an interesting looking horror game. I found out made by its <laughs> the name is literally called Game Designer. And we actually played one of their games before. It was called uh, Reaping Sins. It was uh, a horror game where you played as a guy who was being haunted by the, his uh, dead wife and daughter who he accidentally killed in a fire because of a cigarette. That was a very fun game. It had some good scares in it. Though so I'm expecting a lot from this information. Thank you for deciding to play my game. Hope you enjoy it and don't end up with a bad impression. Wishing you a pleasant gaming experience. Oh, thank you. In high pass, we're going to turn on a few present location, TV, radio, fireplace, simultaneously. No, I don't have a TV on or a fireplace. This place doesn't have a fireplace, so. Even though it is freezing outside. Yeah, wait, this was the ending. This was the ending of uh, Reaping Sins. Yep. I don't remember this. Yeah, so this. Okay, so this takes place after that game. So, like a sequel, yeah. There's the man's dead wife. I need to have a cup of coffee to perk up. Yeah, because in the game, uh, you're not just being haunted by the wife and daughter. We find out through a newspaper that was like on this little was it on the coffee table or was it on a chair. I played it a few months back. It was like the, we saw this newspaper that told us about the instant that a man accidentally started fire because of a cigarette. And we were playing as that guy, whose cigarette accidentally burned down the house, killing, well, the wife and daughter. So, uh, is this like some form of a sequel to it? Because that's exactly how the uh, game ended, with us opening the door, the place being in fire, and seeing the dead wife. So this, this is a sequel, I probably should have guessed that because it is called Village Sins. <laughs> Not cool. Mother. <laughs> Jeff scared by a damn mannequin in the side of a fireplace. Okay. We got a bathroom. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> that got me. A uh, little cabinet. I'm just gonna loot everything. Don't know if that's copyright or not. <laughs> Have a nice day. Okay, looks like I got some bread, salami, cheese, a good sandwich. I see, uh, I think that's tomato sauce and whatever is in those yellow cups. Nothing in the freezer. Village of the Cursed. The village built on the past cemetery. In the secluded valley where silence flickers among ancient trees, the village of Somberhaven sprawls built on the site of an ancient cemetery. This village harbors dark secrets and unexplained phenomena. Much as centuries ago, the cemetery was forgotten and buried beneath layers of soil. Ugh, excuse me. Builders began erecting som uh, Somberhaven. The souls of the deceased were awakened once more. The village residents became witnesses to strange events and mysterious shadows drifting through narrow streets. Every night, ghostly figures emerged from the darkness, walking between the houses. Unseen forces whispered the names of the living, sending shivers through the hearts of the villagers. So, uh, God, I can't read. Solitary firefly transformed to shapeless entities, concealing fear and secrets within. Yeah. Somberhaven, a village built on passage, holds a tale of restless spirits and the enigmatic shadows that dance through its streets. The locals tell tales of seeing the ghosts of their ancestors strolling through the cemetery, as if trying to return to the world of the living. All attempts to close or relocate the cemetery have been unsuccessful, as if an unknown force refuses to release its dark secrets. Mysterious lights at night form peculiar patterns above the houses as if the souls of the departed are trying to send a message to the living. Veiled residents fear the night, their dreams are filled with nightmares, and their eyes are filled with anxiety. 
Somber Haven has become a village where every stone, every house is permeated with past destinies. The inhabitants live in constant fear, but no one dares to leave this cursed place. The fate of Somber Haven is sealed by the shadows of the past, and only time will tell whether this village can break free from the shackles of its ghostly history. Okay, interesting. So the nightmare our character is having, was it the nightmare of everything that happens in uh in the previous game, Reaping Sins? Cause that because the ending of that game is what it showed. Oh, that's just that's just a lamp. <laughs> yeah, that's the game! That's the game right there! <laughs> the previous game in the one that ended. <laughs> Yeah, if you haven't seen my video of me playing that game, do check it out. It was fun, had some great scares in it. Let's light the fire in the fireplace, get all nice and toasty. It is pretty cold outside. I mean, it's... Um... 14 degrees outside right now. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty chilly. Now it's time to wake up with a cold shower. I'm not one for cold showers. I've always for hot showers. What just happened? That's the ghost of the wife from the previous game from Reaping Sins. Okay. Yep. Uh, yep, I got already got chills over my spine. That's... No one's home. Oh, who are you? Who else came? I don't know. I'm about to find out. Hello. I noticed that you recently moved to this darn village. Yes. Oh, boss Percy? Yes. yes. I just bought this house from a local granny yesterday. I wanted to warn you that this is a very strange place. Oh, that's obvious. Wait, what do you mean? Unexplainable things happen here. I advise you to leave this place. Then why are you here? Thanks for your advice, but I'll handle it myself. Okay, I feel like he's going to be a ghost or something. Like, he's not actually there. Some creepy dude. Oh, I think he'll go take a nap. Take a nap? Didn't you just wake up and took a shower and had some coffee? And you're going back to bed? Okay. I mean, I only ever do that if I'm feeling sick, you know? What the? Okay. First off, are we dressed like a security guard or something? What would? What, why are we dressed like a security guard or something? Okay. What the hell is going on in this house? I don't know, and I don't think you really want to know either. Oh, she's in the bathroom. Hi. Damn, we need to get out of this house. Yeah. I don't know if we'll be able to, though. What the fuck was that? What did I just see? S -s flesh skull spider with a xenomorph like tongue. What did the dead space did I just see? Okay then. That's new. I mean, we've seen ghosts that are basically just kind of look like zombies, basically. That's our first, like, actual monster kind of look. Oh, that's it. Okay. Thank you for playing. Very short game. I am curious if they're trying to, like, expand this universe of, I guess you call it the Sins universe. Because first game was uh, Reaping Sins, and now we got Village Sins. And it seems that there's definitely a few connections here. My guess is that this one kind of gave a reason why... The guy was being haunted in the last game was because the town, the village he was living in, where he accidentally killed his wife and daughter by the fire. The only reason why those 
they came back as ghosts haunting him was because the town, well, lets the spirit of the dead kind of go crazy in Haywire, because it's cursed and whatnot. It definitely seems like they're setting up kind of a universe here, and I, I'm, 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 all, I'm all up for it. I'm all up for it. I can't wait to see where this series can go on from here. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe since it supports me and the channel. And if you guys have any gaming recommendations at all, do leave it in the comments down below. But till then, I'll see you guys next video. Stay awesome.